Well, in a moment, we'll be speaking to a panel of people with different views on the issues raised by that report. But first, I'm joined by one of the report authors, Dr Philip Brown of the University of Salford. How can we have a government saying relatively few when you're putting the number at 200,000? Um, good evening. This is one of the main reasons why we undertook the research in the first place, is that um, a few years ago we didn't really understand the number of migrant Roma who were living in the UK and, and where they were and the, and the, and the proportions of, of, of the numbers of which had been arriving. So our research is quite new and that's sort of adding to this, 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 this database. If the official estimates of the numbers seem to be so out, what, what about how Britain is adjusting to this particular community? I mean, are there specific things, specific help that they need that the government needs to address? Well, the, um, the communities are, are quite diverse. Um, they're spread across different areas of the UK, um, stretching from the north down to the south. I think what we, what we found from the research is that quite a lot of the um, good work that had been undertaken from 1999, from the asylum dispersal process, still stands. And that's the, there's lots of local areas, lots of local authorities that's been dealing really well with new migrant communities. The problem is, is that some of those budgets have now been cut and so the officers that were responsible for integration and equality and cohesion tend not to exist in the numbers that they were, if, if at all. And so there's a real issue around resourcing um, some of the issues that we've we found as part of the research. And again, that's part of why we wanted to try and enumerate the population, because um, we need to find out what the magnitude of the population is in order to guide some but, of the um, European Union budgets that can be spent Yeah, I mean, as you know, th there is a big political row over this as well in terms of the rules changing uh, in the new year, uh, new migrants able to come here from Bulgaria and Romania, some of which presumably will be Roma. Uh, do you have any sense of how many more are coming from your research so far? No, I'm afraid that's not really possible to say and um, there's not really any evidence around um, the numbers of people who will be coming. I think that, that there are two conversations, predominant conversations I've had with people around this. Some suggest that once the restrictions lift that there could be a migration away from the UK to other areas perhaps closer to their origin countries so they make it easy to travel in between. But also that people um, from Bulgaria, Romania and Croatia who will be leaving um, may choose to live in areas that are closest to them or where there are established social networks such as Germany and Italy, such like. Philip Brown, thanks very much indeed.